Hello and welcome to the second part of the lesson Hydrogen Overview. In this unit we will start with an overview of the different uses of hydrogen, explaining afterwards what is the concept of hydrogen economy and finally enumerating future challenges and opportunity of the sector currently. Hydrogen has been and it is the main raw material for numerous production processes. The petrochemical industry, petroleum refining application and ammonia production are by far the largest consumers of hydrogen, followed by the methanol production and metallurgical applications. On the other hand, in the food industry, hydrogen is used for the hydrogenation of vegetable oils and fats. In the electronic industry, high purity hydrogen is used for the production and processing of silicon. Other hydrogen uses include hydrogen use as a coolant in power turbine generators, as a fuel for gas turbines and for aerospace application. It is also a primary fuel for various fuel cell applications in the transport sector. In addition, hydrogen can be used as an energy vector, that is to say, a primary energy carry to potential consumption points. When hydrogen is considered as an energy vector, it means that fairly, firstly, some kind of energy is used to obtain hydrogen and store it later. For example, hydrogen can store its energy coming from renewable energy sources, where there is a mismatch between supply and demand. When this stored energy is required to be used, hydrogen can be transported to a place where it is needed and be used later to produce electricity in a fuel. Now we will introduce the concept of hydrogen economy. Hydrogen is a key factor in the energy transition. The transition to a hydrogen society is a concept that has recently gained popularity as it guarantees benefits with regard to three key aspects. With regard to environmental sustainability, hydrogen is a clean, clean carrier and its, its use can reduce dramatically the current CO2 emissions, decarbonizing many sectors such as the transport sector, the use of energy in industry or the heating of buildings. Hydrogen use can also increase in the independence from unstable outside regions and therefore it is considered as a key factor to guarantee the energy security of a country. Finally, hydrogen technology can ensure an increase in competitiveness through research excellence leading to industry innovation and growth. In this hydrogen economy context, we can identify different technological, industrial and social paradigm shifts that can be made possible by fuel cells and hydrogen technologies. For the technological point of view, fuel cells can dramatically reduce losses in energy conversion and they are capable to produce energy locally for local consumption. Furthermore, the use of hydrogen makes possible the transition from energy systems based on carbon cycles to those based on hydrogen cycles and the development of systems in which electricity can be stored as hydrogen and renewable energy because it can be used in its full potential. In an industrial context, the energy industry is facing a, a liberalization. First of all, the energy supply is changing from centralized to distributed generation, where there is a transition from unilateral energy supply companies to multilateral energy resource management. In addition, consumers are given choices as to how they obtain their energy and from which industry. As for the overall industry, this means that hydrogen is one of the potential pillars of the growth strategy, where the industry can profit from the decrease in energy resource imports and the increase in energy system and technology exports. Moreover, the energy seems to become even a more attractive investment area. From a social point of view, hydrogen affects politics where this implies a transition to a society that does not depend on a specific energy resource, such as crude oil, and reducing the chains of international conflict, thanks to the energy security that hydrogen can allow. As regards the environment, this means a shift towards a society that does not produce exhaust gas emissions 
through the deployment of fuel cell vehicles and a transition to an env environmental friendly society through dramatic CO2 reductions. Besides that, in the economy sector, is fundamental, it, it is the fundamental driving force to power economic activities and therefore this allows a transition to a society in which future energy is ensured through investment in renewable energy and where the best mix of energy types can be deployed because of the diversification of energy resources. Nevertheless, clean and widespread use of hydrogen in a global energy transition faces several challenges. Currently, policy and technology is uncertain. Producing hydrogen from low carbon energy is costly at the moment. However, according to the International Energy Agency analysis, the cost of production producing hydrogen from renewable electricity could fall 30% by 2030. Another challenge is that the development of hydrogen infrastructure is slow and holding back widespread adoption. Hydrogen prices for consumers are highly dependent on how many refueling stations are, how often they are used and how, how much hydrogen is delivered per day. Dealing with this requires planning and coordination from national and local governments, industry and invest investors. In addition, nowadays hydrogen is almost entirely supplied from natural gas and coal, which are responsible for annual CO2 emissions equivalent to those of Indonesia and United Kingdom together. Hydrogen introduction a clean energy future based on Hydrogen requires both the capture of CO2 from hydrogen production from fossil fuels and greater supplies of hydrogen from clean electricity. Finally, regulation currently limits the development of a clean hydrogen economy. Government and industry must work together to ensure existing regulations are not an unnecessary barrier to investment. In this figure, we can see the number of countries supporting different policies of hydrogen deployment by target application. The International Energy Agency has also identified four near-term opportunities to boost hydrogen on the path towards its clean and widespread use. As the industrial ports concentrate much of the refining and chemical production that uses hydrogen based on fossil fuels, they could become the nerve centers for scaling up the use of clean hydrogen. Encouraging these plants to shift to a cleaner hydrogen production will drive down overall cost. Another opportunity is to build on existing infrastructure such as the natural gas pipelines. Introducing clean hydrogen to replace, replace just 5% of the volume of the country's natural gas supplies will significantly boost demand for hydrogen and drive also down the cost. On the other hand, Powering cars, trucks and buses to carry passengers and goods along popular routes can make fuel cells vehicles more competitive. The figure shows the increase in fuel cell electric cars in 2018 compared to the previous year. This growth is a positive sign even though this still represents a small fraction of the global light duty vehicle fleet. Finally, the last near-term opportunity is to integrate the learned lessons from the successful growth of liquefied natural gas in order to launch the hydrogen trade's first international shipping routes. What is clear is that international cooperation is vital to accelerate the growth of versatile clean hydrogen around the world. Thank you for your attention.